Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm filming an update for my Pan That Face palette for the year. This year I did my first ever Pan That palette and it was a Pan That, Pan that Face palette. And this I believe is my third, second or third update. I honestly don't know. It'll be in the title obviously. And I'm really excited to show you today. I have really, really exciting progress. But before we jump into photos and progress updates, let me go ahead and say if you're curious about what the heck is on my head, I believe the video will be coming after this update. But I did just film a little first impressions with this little hair extension. It's like a halo hair extension that I got off Amazon for like $10. So if, if I look very funny and different to you, it's because I, I, I've never done anything like this to my hair in my life. So luckily it was like $10 little hair extension. So keep an eye out for that video because I think it was kind of fun to try it. It's kind of fun to switch things up really quickly and like little to no effort. But anyways, let's go ahead and get back to this update here. Jumping into progress photos, I went ahead and double checked and made sure what update we were on. We're on the second update. So at the intro, my pro my palette looked like this, and obviously we had a little bit of progress already in this palette. I had crushed two shades out completely um, and used them or put them into like a body lotion, and then I believe I had a couple pans on this palette already. Now at the sec at the first update, we had made some good progress. I think the pans were significantly wider and I had new pan on like one or two of the other ones that initially did not have pan at the first update. So I was doing pretty good. Now I, I chose to update this quarterly because I thought my progress would be super slow. And so today at the second update, I wanna show you my progress and that is this. So. I don't know about you, but I'm shocked that I managed to finish this already and it's July. I actually finished this up probably at the very beginning of July, maybe at the end of June. It went pretty quickly. Honestly, it had to like these, I think these two here had quite a big pan in them and they got harder to pick up with a brush. So what I ended up doing was crushing all four of these bronzer shades together, especially because this one was the hardest pressed one it, because it was a baked product and I knew that if I didn't end up like mixing them all together I would have this one left and this one doesn't really serve a purpose alone I needed it to to be to be able to tone down I believe this one was the darkest one out of the out of the palette I needed to tone these two like mix them two together to get like the perfect shade because this one was too dark this one was too light and so then these two were almost done so I just crushed them all together and then when I made that it was almost like too I don't, I don't remember the coloring, the coloring situation. I wanna say it was too light still. And so I had a brown uh, shadow in this palette here, this little tart, old tart palette. And I knew I wasn't gonna use it because I have so many other palettes that have better quality, like little matte brown shades like this had. And so I went ahead and crushed that into that bronzer and I ended up putting it into a like empty loose bronzer thing and ended up using it up that way which was really fun. And then the yellow shade was the one I think that I needed to use up and the quickest. And I ended up using that one up mostly to like help clean up contour or like bronzer if I brought it down too far. And then also I ended up at the end, I, I ended up using it up as a lid setting shade. So that means that I've completed my first ever face palette. And I'm really excited because not only was it, it was a good palette, it just didn't, it wasn't the best performing palette I've ever had and not to mention that the packaging broke. So when packaging breaks like that, that's when I decide that I'm kind of over it and I'm kind of done with it. So I was really excited to finish this up. Now, that leads us to the question of what next? So I did look in my collection and I have one more palette that I can roll into this Pan That Face palette year uh, and I will work on this guy. This is my e.l.f. contour palette and I'll show you what it's looking like. So I had also crushed out this highlight shade here. It was not a very good highlight very chalky out of like all the other three shades in here are awesome but that highlight i just wasn't crazy crazy about i thought it was really chalky and and not really flattering it was like almost white so it just didn't really provide much for me now i i hit this pan or i hit pan not this size pan it was smaller i hit pan on this palette in a previous project i want to say from last year sometime and i remember thinking i think it was like a four month long project and it took me almost that entire time to hit pan and these shades weren't new. So this 
took me much longer to hit pan on than like this little contour palette or this little contour and bronzer palette did. So I do think that this one will probably last me the end of the year. But then again, we'll see. I do have really good progress on these, obviously. Let me get a little nice close up shot for you. This is what we're looking like. So I already have started to expand the pan here. This one's pretty dark, but it also, if I use the right brush, which I, I have a good brush in my collection that I like to use with this palette, and it kind of helps sheer it out. I can't use a too densely of a packed like brush, otherwise this one looks a little bit too dark, but I think this will work really well. Also, I just noticed like looking at it, it's really messy because I was using it just this week. And I also should say that this shade here, I imagine will probably take me even longer than these two, just because I don't always prefer a, pest, a pressed powder. And so this one may take me a little bit longer. And I probably also will use it the same way that I did the like yellow shade in the other palette, which is mostly just to clean up contour or bronzer that I bring down too far. And maybe for a touch up during the day if I remember or need it, but we'll see. So yeah, we just have another quick update here for this project. And again, we'll be working on this guy now. I'm really excited. If I finish two palette bronzing, bronzing and contour palettes this year, I will be so proud of myself. So this one is the one we're gonna work on next. Depending on my progress, I may end up updating at the two month mark versus the three month mark because I feel like now in hindsight with this one being done already and I've only updated you this is the second time that maybe I should have updated a little bit more often, but I can't go back in time and fix that. So we'll just move forward and I'll, I'll keep in mind when I have good progress and I'll just kind of do it more sporadically versus sticking to a, a tighter schedule. So I hope you enjoyed this update. Make sure you say hello in the comments. Let me know what you think and I will see you in the next one.